Hello and welcome back to the studio where we paint away the stress of everyday life in Wales. We certainly do. We're going to be doing something a little bit different today. Um, I found a painting um, that I did again um, a while ago because I've been sorting out some of my, uh, my old work. And I've come across this painting that I did with one of my grandchildren. And I thought we'd reproduce that. So I'm just going to put that by the side of my easel. And today we're going to be working on a similar size canvas, which is a 16 by 12 or 15 by 12, 16 by 12, whichever, whichever size. You can paint on whatever size you want. Now I've got a little tool here that um, I've made. It's just a, a piece of hard plastic um, screw to a piece of wood and that enables me to put a nice horizon line in because it's flush there this is going to be dead straight so I want to put a, just a basic guideline in there and maybe another one just maybe on an angle let's think on an angle should we do on an angle we'll do it on a slight angle like that there we go <laughs> and um, I've, I've found a couple of different pots that I've got. I've got a plastic cup and I've got one of these little measurement um, things for medicine, um, which I use for my flow paintings. Okay, so I'm going to, because we've got one size there and we've got another size there, haven't we? So I want to put a, a nice big circle in. And this is just a guide. I'm going to put one there. And I'm going to turn the pot around. And I'm going to put another pot, another circle, just slightly in front of that, like that. Doesn't have to be perfect, which that isn't. <laughs> I'm switching over to um, another pot, which is a, a, again slightly a different size. But I want to put one there, and I want to put one there. This is a fun little project you can do with the grandchildren and I'm going to put one there and I'm just going to draw one in roughly there like that maybe we can take that horizon down a little bit lower maybe I'll bring that horizon down there there we go and just ignore that there we go. <laughs> That's about as good as you have to be with withdrawing for this particular painting. So um, let's have a look at the colours we're going to be using on the palette. Um, as you can see, I'm mixing some um, of my um, paint thickener with some paints that I've got on the palette. Um, the red and the white. I've done the blue and the yellow already. So that's cool. And um, this, the paint thickener is available on the website www.cly5art.co.uk. So as I said, I've got some ultramarine blue. I've got some mid yellow. I got some cadmium or mid red. I got some white and some black. I got my paint thickener again, which you can find at www.cly5art.co.uk. And that's going to enable you to thicken your paints up into an impasso state um, to enable you to use them like heavy body paints basically or you can add a little bit of chalk even to them if you wanted to we'll talk about that in another lesson and I'm going to proceed um, with a palette knife first of all if you've never used a palette knife then this is um, one of those this is one of those paintings that you can practice with I and mean, it's just quite fun especially if you've got um, some children as well get them involved um, you can see my board has got a lot of paint on it because I use a palette knife quite a lot in fact so I'm gonna mix it I'm gonna get some of my ultramarine blue I'm gonna mix that onto my board like this I'll just check and make sure you can see what I'm doing that's it okay I'm gonna pick up a bit of white and I'm just gonna mix up some very nice light blue color like this 
this is this is this is a good way to get into the palette knife if you want to um, have a go at the palette knife, and then just get it on the edge of the palette knife like that. It's all marbly. There's all bits of blue and white in there. It's all marbled effect. Go onto the top of your canvas, and then just drag down like that. Just drag down, and don't worry about a little bit of that canvas showing through. It doesn't matter. This is the fun of of palette knife work. I'm just scraping some more paint off my my palette knife, I'm trying to remember where those circles are. Again, picking up a bit more, a bit more Prussian blue, a little bit more white. Doesn't have to be the same colour. Just m mix it together, get a nice marble effect. Pick up some on your palette knife, like on the edge. And just drag it down like that. Be light. Be light. Bit of an indentation in my in my canvas there, look. But it doesn't matter. We'll just squish it in like that. Let's get some more white. Mix it on your palette like this. Just have fun. Get a little roll of paint. A little roll of paint, like putting snow on a mountain, and then just pull a bit of that on top of that blue to get that marbly effect, like like that. There's a little indentation on my canvas, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. And again, a bit more white, a bit more white, scraping up some of that blue I got already got on there. Get a little roll of paint. I want this a bit lighter down here. Trying to remember where those circles I painted on are. I paint, uh, drew on are. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Getting a little bit more white again. Little roll of paint. Getting a bit of Prussian blue now. Just to flavour that white up with a bit of blue. There you go. A little roll of paint. I'm going to get it a bit darker over there, so I'm going to bring some more Prussian blue in, a bit more, that's it, that's a lovely colour look, it looks like a nice abstract sky, don't worry about any canvas showing through, that all adds, that all adds to it, that all adds to it, so I'm just going to put my palette down, I'm going to clean my palette knife off, There you go. Picking up some more white paint. I'm just going to put a bit of white paint to the side because I don't want it to contaminate it as much. And then I'm going to put some brighter areas. Maybe I'll take the paint straight off the cam off the wet palette. That's better. I'm going to put it on quite thick around you. Make it look as if it's possibly a cloud or something. There we go. It'll all make sense when we've dried this off. Now, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is make some green. Again, I'm just going to get a little bit of blue. A little bit of blue. A bit of ultramarine blue. Now, if you've got a... Um, if you've got some um, heavy-bodied paints, then you don't need the paint thickener, but... Um, I like using the paint thickener. Right, I'm going to add some more yellow into that. Make a nice green. That's just ultramarine blue and yellow. And I'm going to get a little bit of white to it just to 
sparkly that looks like a bit of an emerald green then there we go again again a little roll of paint and I'm just going to put some green in there like that nice cleaning my palette brush off my palette knife I'm getting some ultramarine blue there Roll of paint, roll of paint. We've lost our circles. Okay, so what we've learned by this is we must put our circles in last, I think. Trying to get a, a line there. I'm going to clean my palette knife off again. Now I'm picking up some yellow because I want to put some yellow in. I've just picked it up straight off the palette like that, big lump. Very lightly. I'm not putting a lot of pressure on this palette knife. It's just. I'm just letting it do its thing, basically. Let's make some shapes like that. There you go. <laughs> looks pretty cool right let's um let's get some more blue let's get some more blue some more yellow i want to make a lighter yellow now i like the green i should say sorry oh, molly's barking in the garden i think somebody's cutting some grass and she can hear the lawn mowers and stuff going. Got quite a light green there now, so hopefully that will work. A little roll of paint, little roll of paint. I'm just letting a bit of paint just come off the palette knife. Like as if there's a little bit of highlight. Catching those trees in the background like that because <laughs> that's what they are they are trees okay so I'm just gonna get a bit of kitchen roll I'm gonna clean my palette knife off now we want to get a little bit of that blue which is the ultramarine blue again on the palette I'm gonna mix a little bit more up in a second and then put some more white to that there you go put some more white to that And then we're going to get a little roll of paint, a little roll of paint just on the edge, like that, just on the edge. And let's just pick up some highlight on a couple of these things. These could be bushes, could be lilac bushes or whatever, I don't know. But I think blue goes really well on you, because there's going to be some orange in, the, in you in a second. Well, there will be. I'm just going to put a bit of blue just down there, just to balance that off a touch, maybe. 
and clean my palette knife off. Okay, so I'm gonna dry that off now um, with the hairdryer. It's gonna take a little bit of while. It's gonna take a little while to dry because it's quite thick paint and it's got that a paint thickener in it. So I shall be back as quick as I can. But once that's dry then, and then we can start playing around with those circles that I put in. I may have to redraw them, but maybe not. We'll see. <laughs> so I've dried that. It's, it's still very, very wet, but um, it's, it's just going to have to do. I've re-scraped in a couple of circles there. Um, now I don't quite know what to do. I don't know whether to use my palette knife or a brush. So I've got. I've picked up a a long handled. Um, it's um, bristle brush. Uh, short flat basically um, it's a bright or what's known in um, America um, <clears throat> okay so but it's a short flat in the UK um, so I'm gonna pick up some I'm gonna pick up some ultramine blue on my bristle brush like that and I'm just gonna go in and put some thick paint straight in around that circle area like this in fact I'm gonna put my mixing palette down and I and I think I'm quite happy to proceed with this so I'm getting a little bit of white just up in the top corner there and I'm just gonna start blending in some white into this blue there we go. I'm going to get it a little bit lighter as we go around this edge like this. And conveniently, I've missed a little bit of canvas out there. So I didn't do that on purpose. I did that on, um, didn't do it on purpose. It was an accident, but that was that's, that's good the way that actually worked for me. So I'm gonna just gonna get a bit of shape into this. This is a tree, by the way. There you go. Who was Molly barking again? I don't know if you can hear it up here. I got my I got the filter on my headset. To to filter out a lot of background noise so I don't know if you can hear it okay so that's that one done um, I'll leave that at the moment as it is um, I want to make some um, purple up now so I'm gonna get some ultramarine blue there ultramarine blue and some red I'm gonna mix these two colors up nice nice purpley color gonna get some over there gonna get a, a small touch of white to that you can see it's a nice red purple so I'm gonna make this one a little bit bluer I just added a bit more blue to that again you can use um shop board um, purple if you want to you don't have to make your own purple different blues will give you different purples in fact so there's a cerulean blue it's got a bit of a green bias to it so it's going to give you a slightly different blue where this ultramarine blue um, is got a warm um, mid-tone to it not mid-tone um, undertone um, which is going to give it a a redder look so I'm just going to use what I got you can use a brighter purple. There's brighter purples there. Uh, you can buy some lovely, nice, bright purples out there, actually. So I'm going to add a bit more white to that. Again, just keep using this brush. into some dark purple and 
just want to give this a nice rough type of texture. There you go. It's just a different way of painting. There you go. It's just a different way of painting. If you like this type of painting, then uh, that's cool. This really is. Now, I want a really light, I want a really light purple. So I'm just going to mix these two purples together. And maybe, maybe, maybe add a little bit more blue to it, actually. Let's see if I can get this more of a blue purple. Let's see what that looks like, because we want to put one just to the side, like that. Maybe this is a tree, this, a young tree that wants to grow up to be like its uh, parent, which is that one. <laughs> there we are, just to... You can paint these any color you want. They don't have to be this color. You don't have to have a blue one and a purple one. And you don't need to do that. You, you can paint these any color you want. I'm leaving that to you. That's your, your artistic license. That's your artistic license, that is. Now, what I'm thinking of doing is maybe putting um, a yellowy-green one there because yellow and purple are complements, so... Let's see what we can do. Let's get some yellow and a little bit of this ultramarine blue. Let's get a nice dark green. What a lovely green that is, look. It's lovely green that is. Let's just put a... We want to darken that up a bit more than that. That's better. Wow. Only a little one. A little one there. Put that little one. Can go around. Can come in front of that one. He can come in front of that one. He can. And we'll put him in there like that. Wow. <laughs> yes. Starting to look like something now. Let's get some yellow. Mixing it with a bit of that green, just to get that lighter colour. And let's just put a few little flicks. Like that. Maybe just a little bit of pure yellow, just on there. We'll try to get a little bit of pure yellow, just on there. This paint is all really wet and thick and sticky, so that's good. There we are. That's a nice looking tree, that one is. Okay, so what we want to do now is let's get, um, let me think. What if, we, what if we make an orange tree? What if we get some, let's just put that over there because I don't want that pot there. Let's put some yellow over there, just a small touch of red to it. Make up some orange. Get some of that on your th th right thick lump right on the edge of my brush, look. That's gonna go against the blue really well, orange. Orange is a compliment. So you've got yellow going with the um, purples there, and there's a bit of green there. We've got a bit of red into that purple. Red and green are opposites, and yellows and, and purples are opposite. And we've got orange here going against the blue, which is good. So using these colors together, all your complements, your complementary palette, is what's going to make this painting stand a little bit more because you've got the yellow if we put a little bit of yellow towards the edge of that orange making more of a yellow orange that's going to balance well with that 
and then the red and the green are going to balance well together you've got oh, it's all wonderful it's all wonderful it really is let's get a bit more red less into there get a bit of a yellow tree coming in the middle just just plain yellow and moving into a little bit of green just on the edge there There we are. So we've got we've got six trees in there so far. We want another tree now over here. So let's get um, some more red and a little bit of blue. I just want to make this one a little bit darker. Look at that. That looks like a crimson colour. What a lovely colour that is. That's a lovely colour. Add in a little bit of yellow to it. A little bit more yellow to it. Wow. So dark darker colors towards the end moving into the lighter colors hopefully <laughs> that's going to drag your eye hopefully into the center of that painting then so that's looking pretty good I, I like the way that is looking at the moment i'm just going to get my palette off the off my bin there i want to work a little bit more on to the um onto the base now again i'm going back to this and um, my palette knife so let's let's get some yellow and some red I'm gonna chuck a little bit of white into that nice Let's get a bit of more red. You can make your mind up. Is this is this trees on a bank of a river, or is it just um, a, 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 a field full of all these little tiny flowers? Maybe I don't know. You you tell me what you think. You tell me what you think. Are these just are these just me painting a representation of flowers, or is it? water this is what the interpretation of this type of thing is it's um it's really good to, to do that i'm going to mix some white and some red together i'm going to make a pink because i want to i want to break this up a bit i want to put a bit of pink in i want to put a bit of pink in here and there it's not an expected color to to put in but what it does it just helps with a little bit of thought pattern there I want I want to get some yellow let's get some yellow just want to need a bit of brighten up a bit of an area there I mix a bit of white to this yellow all I've done is mix it on the corner of my palette I just want to just throw throw in a little bit of like the color like that I'm, I'm happy with the I'm, I'm even happy with the canvas showing through there you go 
we're on a win-win situation. We're on a win-win situation, yeah. <clears throat> I'm getting um, a little bit of red, a little bit of blue together. I'm going to go back in, mix him in a bit, a bit of purple. I'm just going to get a little roll of paint just on the edge of my brush like that because I'm just going to put in a few unexpected lines like that just to because I want to no other reason There's no other reason than just to give it a bit of an abstract type of look. There we go. Let's put another. Let's put another one there. Going across like that. There you go. <laughs> right. The next stage um, is I got to check my cameras, make sure everything is working. Um, okay. Wow, I just, I just, I was just cleaning my palette knife with, um, with a bit of tissue paper like that. And as I slid through like that, I've actually sliced my finger, look. So be very, very careful because these palette knives, when you're doing this, when you, when you rub in your palette knife on the, on the, on the canvas like that, you're actually sharpening up the edges. So be very careful. That hurt. <laughs> That really did hurt. Okay, so um, I've got a my script lining brush. There we are. There's my script lining brush. I'm just going to wrap that into some water. I'm going to get some black paint. There we go. I'm going to make that like ink. And hope then I grab my little brush. Hope I don't bleed everywhere. <laughs> And then we're going to put some shapes in like that. There's one. There's another. Just something different today. Just something so different that it just goes to show that you can just have fun. And that's all I want to do with my lessons is encourage people to not to be afraid and just go and create. We've all got the ability to create within ourselves. We just have not tapped into that yet. And Learning acrylics is not just about painting. It's about learning what these paints can actually do with, for you. Learning um, how to manipulate the paints to your advantage. That's the key with, with um, acrylics. Is don't think they're one thing when they can be so much different. They're not just a quick drying 
paint that we can all struggle with. They're a fantastic, fantastic medium that once we learn to master acrylic, we won't want to pick up any other type of paint. But what we will find is that mastering acrylics will help us improve painting with other mediums as well. I deem two paints very complicated to master, watercolours and acrylic. If you can master those two, then you're on a winner every single time. What I don't like is that black line there, so I'm just going to take that black line out. There we go. Just like that. If you like what you've seen today, don't forget to please click the subscribe button. Um, just just down by there, and then over there is a, a little button then to go along to the uh, Patreon for as little as a dollar a month. You can support me there. I'm going to nurse my, my, my bleedy finger. And, um, well, just give it a try. See what you come up with. And um, paint it in any colour you want. And I hope you've enjoyed this lesson today. And I'll see you next time on another lesson at 7.30 on a Monday. Bye.